Hello friends, this video on inverse trigonometric functions part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Same thing for cosec function. If you see the natural dominant range for cosec function, this is already explained. The domain is uh, any real number minus n pi because cosec is 1 by sine and for any numbers which are n pi form, for any x which is n pi form, this becomes 0. So 1 by sine becomes infinite, this is not defined. So the natural uh, domain is r minus n pi and range is uh, any number which is not between minus 1 to 1. So for this also, if you see, this is my graph and again, this is not 1 over an onto. To make it 1 over an onto, let's restrict one domain. Uh, let's get an interval for which this becomes 1 over an onto. So if you take this interval, here also if you see for two values, we are getting same output. Sample so this guy will give you same output and this guy will give you same output. So this is not the correct interval we are talking about. So let's take this minus pi by 2 pi by 2. Let's take this interval. Let's take this interval. So let me put line here. If you take this interval, here if you see every value has a unique uh, output. Every If you take any value in the x, it has unique output in y. So this is my valid interval. Because if you take this interval minus pi by 2 pi by 2, this cosec function becomes 1 1 and not. So if you see, if you take any uh, value from minus pi by, two, pi by 2 minus 0, why because 0 minus 0, because 0 is not defined here. Please note, 0 is not defined, so this is minus 0, 0 is not defined, so minus pi by 2 pi by 2 minus 0, then this becomes 1 over 1 and on 2, correct? So if this becomes 1 over 1 on 2, the restricted domain and range for cosec function is this value, correct? Minus pi by 2 pi by 2 minus 0, this is my domain and range is any real number minus minus 1 to 1. Now to find the cosec inverse restricted domain and range, just flip it. In this case, the moment you flip it, this comes here and this comes here. So my uh, restricted domain and range for cosec inverse is any real number minus 1 to 1 and this one becomes minus pi by 2 pi by 2. Any number between that minus 0 because for 0 it is not different. And also if you see, this was one branch, but there are a couple of other branch also for which this holds true. For example, if you take from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, this is also one branch. If you take from minus pi by 2 to minus 3 pi by 2, also one branch. From here to you know, 5 pi by 2, also one branch. So there are so many branches for this. The cosec function is invertible. But for us, this branch that is minus pi by 2 pi by 2 is a principal value branch similar to what we have done in the sine cos same thing in cosine so you have so many branches for which uh, the function is invertible but the one which we are interested in is the principal value branch here also same thing if y is equal to cosec x cosec inverse x then actually cosec y is equal to x so similar thing we'll draw the graph of cosec inverse x First, so if we have graph of the y is equal to cosec x, we can try, draw the graph of y is equal to cosec inverse x also. Because in this case, nothing but, if you see, this is nothing but x is equal to cosec y. Correct? So, you draw the graph in this fashion, just the same graph, flip it, and you get y is equal to cosec inverse. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.